Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in algorithms that is dynamic programming. So this is one algorithmic approach in order to solve the programs or problems. So in our previous sessions we have seen the greedy method and divide and conquer and now we'll moving on with the next concept that is a dynamic programming. So this is similar to our divide and conquer method. So usually the divide and conquer method is represented as DAC divide and conquer and this is represented as DP so which is abbreviated as a dynamic programming and the main goal is this may this dynamic programming approach is used to solve used to solve optimization problems optimization problems i think we have seen this in the greedy method so greedy method is also used to solve the optimization problems and here also it is used to solve the optimization problems so we know that optimization problems are the problems which are having a multiple solutions and we are selecting the optimal solution based upon the constraints right so that is an optimization problem and so working is similar not equal right it is a similar to divide and conquer divide and conquer that means here also the complete problem will be divided into sub problems similar to our divide and conquer but only one thing difference is so the division should be with overlapping sub problems okay with the overlapping sub problems so overlapping sub problems but in case of divide and conquer okay in case of divide and conquer so the sub problems will be divided without any overlapping without any overlapping solutions right so let me explain what is exactly the overlapping sub problems and the not overlapping sub problems for example so in both the cases I'll write the steps and then I'll differentiate these two things. Okay. So the first step, step one, the first step, the complex problem will be divided into sub problems. The complex problem is divided into sub problems. So either it can be a complex problems or a large problems. Okay. And step two. So this is common with the divide and conquer. Next. So next we have to find out the solution for these sub problems. Here also find solutions. That is also optimal solutions. So here that is important. Find optimal solutions for all sub problems. Okay, here this is also common. And step three, this is the most important and a unique among the remaining algorithmic approaches. So store the solution of sub problem in the memory. Okay. So stores or save solution of sub problem so that if it requires to get a solution for the same sub problem some other time so in order to avoid that one so we can get the solution from the memory so we have to find out the optimal solutions for all the sub problems and we have to save the complete solution in, in the memory and before 
solving the sub problem first we need to check in the memory whether there is a solution for the sub problem if it is there then automatically we can retrieve the value otherwise we have to solve the optimal i mean solve the problem and get the optimal solution and again save the same thing in the memory so this is a unique thing okay for example for example consider the fibonacci series okay see so i read the step 4 also the last step so what is the last step so finding the complete solution for overall problem so based upon the optimal solution so from all optimal solutions from from all optimal solutions of sub problems find out overall solution find out overall solution find out overall solution so these are the main steps that will be followed in this particular algorithmic approach the first one complex problem will be divided into sub problems and second find the optimal solutions for all the sub problems and the third stores or saves the each sub solution of the sub problem and for the future reference and step four from all optimal solutions of the sub problems find out the overall solution see now i will tell you the example of overlapping sub problems and non overlapping sub problems example example let us consider the fibonacci sequence fibonacci sequence all right so if you we know that fibonacci sequence means the element is nothing but the addition of previous two elements the element is addition of previous two elements for example so if the first element is 0 and the next element is 1 the next element will be 1 plus 0 it will be 1 next element will be 1 plus 1 2 next element element will be 2 plus 1 3 next element will be 3 plus 2 5 next element will be 8 next 13 21 etc so how we got a 21 so 21 we got with the addition of 13 and 8 how we got a 13 13 addition of 8 and 5 how we got a 8 addition of 5 and 3 so n is equal to n minus 1 plus n minus 2 so if you want to get n minus 1 yeah n so we need to add n minus 1 and n minus 2 so we can solve this one by using the recursion okay simply we can use the recursion fibonacci of n minus 1 and n minus 2 so if you solve the, the same thing using the recursion what happens let us see see if you want to solve for example fibonacci of n how we can solve so this can be done with the help of fibonacci of n minus 1 and fibonacci of n minus 2 okay then how you got n minus 1 again fibonacci of n minus 2 fibonacci of n minus 3 all right and what about this one fibonacci of n minus 3 fibonacci of n minus 4 and the the process will be repeated similarly so here you can observe so fibonacci of n minus 2 here we are solving and the same thing we are solving here also fibonacci of n minus 3 here we are solving and also we are solving here similarly a fibonacci of n minus 4 is solved here and somewhere else definitely we will solve the same thing so that means that repeatedly we are solving the same thing multiple times even though it is a recursion right so instead of that one if you solve the solution if you get the solution for this problem that will be stored in a table okay so simply here i'll write fibonacci of n minus 2 so whenever it is required here 
I need not execute the same thing. I need not implement the same thing. So I will get the value from the memory because it was, it was already solved and it was already stored. The solution is already stored in the memory. Right? So consider these are all the sub problems. These are all the sub problems. So once you solve the sub problem, the solution will be stored in the memory. Right? And this process is called top down approach. Top down approach. And this process is called as memorization. 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 So here, the same problem can be solved in two different approaches. One is a top down and the bottom up. Okay. So bottom up approach. One more thing we can write a bottom up approach. So that means. So that means the solution will be getting from the base case itself. Right. So this process we call it as a tabulation. Tabulation. Okay, tabulation, right? So, hope you understood. So, these type of sub problems we call it as a overlapping sub problems. So, here we are having a Fibonacci of n minus 2, and here also we are having Fibonacci of n minus 2. The same problem repeated twice here. So, this process, these two sub problems we can call it as a overlapping sub problems. Overlapping sub problems. So this the one one uh, characteristic of dynamic programming is overlapping structure, overlapping structure. Okay, so I'll write down here characteristics. So one is overlapping structure. So actually the dynamic programming, in the dynamic programming we are also dividing the problem into sub-problems but without overlapping sub-problems. The second one, second characteristic is an optimal solution, optimal sub-problems, optimal sub-problems. That means here also as we discussed just now, so consider each and every sub-problem and we have to find out the optimal solution for each and every sub-problem. Right, so that we call it as an optimal sub problem, and these two we can say as a characteristics of dynamic programming. Dynamic programming, see, I'll write here consider these uh, approaches, approaches, so we can say this as a top down approach and two approaches. Another one is a bottom up approach. So in this top down approach, we call the process as memorization. And here it is called as tabulation. And here we we'll use a recursive function. Recursive, right? So every sub problem will be solved by using a recursive and here this recursion will be avoided and here it will be iterative iterative right so these are the different approaches to use this dynamic programming to solve any problem using this dynamic programming approach and now let us see the applications so what are the applications or what kind of problems can be solved by using this dynamic programming so, as we just discussed it just now, that is Fibonacci sequence, Fibonacci sequence, multi-stage graph, multi-stage graph, matrix multiplication, matrix multiplications 0 1 knapsack towers of hanai so lot of applications
applications are there so a lot of applications are there so these type of problems can be solved by using this dynamic programming in order to get the optimal solution right so hope you understood the top down approach and bottom up approach and uh, overlapping sub problems and not overlapping sub problems so that's the main difference between uh, the dynamic programming and the divide and conquer divide and conquer the division will be done without any overlapping sub problems and but here dynamic programming will be divided with a overlapping sub problems right the characteristics overlapping structure and the optimal sub problems so hope you understood so let's stop here and in our further sessions we'll move on with the applications we'll take some problems and we'll see how we can solve the problem using this particular algorithmic approach dynamic programming right so let's stop here hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one free Feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.